Well, here we go again. Let me show you what's going on. Welcome to 3D Accuracy, where I'll talk about 3D printing, 3D product design, and 3D injection and die cast mold design. Today is Saturday, uh, Saturday morning about 11.30, and I decided last night to come out and lay a few of these put a few of these planks in position, getting them ready to put down. And I got a little carried away with myself and I started putting some on the floor, peeling and sticking. And so I ended up doing this whole little area here and I moved this desk over against the, uh, the big machine to get it out of my way. So what's on the agenda for today? Okay, what I'm gonna do now is I'm in the corner there. You can see up against the uh, up against the wall. Some of those planks are what I laid before and cut along the edge, and I have to do that with the rest along this these sections of three. I got one here, one here, one here, one here, and one here, and then they'll all be cut along the wall and underneath the lift door, and this whole little area is finished. But before I do that, I wanna come in here and I wanna clean some of this glue off the planks that I already put down. I wanna get that cleaned up a little bit so it's not so messy, it's just so sticky. So I'll get this area along the edge finished, then I should have enough room there to move these 3D printers up into position. They're gonna come up, oh, roughly about here. And so then I've got these set up and in position, then I just have to get them all hooked back up again and, and uh, working, and so they're ready to go. And this one, I've already been running this one this week. <laughs> I had uh, uh, projects to do for customers, and so uh, that machine, I got hooked up and set up last weekend and so it's been it's been running this week already and uh, I got another project to do in it this week so anyway um, what else oh yeah uh, once I finish this once I get this area and the machines moved up and it may take me the better part of the day to do that I don't know then what I want to do is move this desk you see I have all the drawers from this other desk out of here out of it so it makes it lighter and I can move it more easily. Uh, so once I reposition this, I'll put these drawers back in that desk and then I'll pull the drawers out of this desk and put it in its position somewhere over here in this area. And then that pretty much opens up this side all the way down the side of the shop so that I can position all the planks, get the pattern in there correctly, and then start laying those. But I don't expect to get to that today. I mean, I may lay out the planks, but I don't expect to get to the point where I can start sticking them to the floor. That uh, might be t tomorrow's uh, what's going to happen tomorrow. So one step at a time. First I got to get that uh, over there finished along the lift door and the wall so I can move those other 3D printers into position and then we go from there. After I get some of that done along the uh, uh, the lift door and the wall before I move those 3D printers in position. I'll uh, give you a peek at that and show you what that looks like. I just can't hold the camera in one hand and uh, do things <laughs> <laughs> with the other. I can't lay planks single-handed. <laughs> doesn't work that way. And until I get a little device to uh, hold the camera for me, and maybe we'll design something and 3D print it and go through that process. I'll show you what that kind of thing is all about. And then uh, that way I can at least take some videos while I'm doing the process and then uh, you just speed them up, you know, because it's, uh, it's boring to sit there in real time and watch one plank at a time go down, blah, blah, blah. It's like, okay, after the third one, you're like, mm, okay, now what? <laughs> So I don't want to do that. Okay, so let me get at it. Lots to do. I uh, want to get some work done today, and I'll show you more as it goes. Here we are. I have all the planks that I laid yesterday evening in this area. Everything's been washed, so it's cleaned up. It's not so sticky, gooey from all that darn glue that's on it. So I have it all cleaned up. Looks nice. And I've laid out the pattern of the planks along the wall here by the lift door and the wall 
and you can see I have a um, I have a pattern. I have 24 boxes of plank, and I use I laid them out on the floor, and I have rows like an odd row, even row, odd row, even row, and so I use planks from odd boxes, and what I do is I go like uh, you know one, three, five, seven, nine, eleven, da 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 da, da until I get to uh, uh, the end and start over again. And you see, I have a one of these planks from one of the two new boxes that I that I bought. I, I needed two more boxes when I changed to this pattern. And so you see, they repeat every so often. There's a uh, right over here is another one of those planks that came out of the new box, and they're slightly different. It's a touch difference in color. There's a little more red to it. You can see. And I have them scattered throughout the shop in a pattern so that they're not so obvious. I mean, I know where they are. You know, there's one here. There's one over there in that row. Uh, there's one over here someplace. Where is it? Oh, right there by the end of the cord. And so I have them staggered into the pattern so that they're not all in one place and it makes it obvious. And so uh, that's why I have to lay out the pattern like this so I know what planks go where so that I get these oddball ones in the right spot. Okay, so anyway, so I'm going to get to uh, laying those planks along the wall and by the uh, roll-up door. And once I have those down, and they take a little time because I have to measure them, cut them all. Everyone needs to be cut and kind of custom fit so that I have a nice even line along the outside where the, uh, where the roll-up door is. So uh, it takes a little bit more time than just, you know, the rest of the planks peel off the paper, slap them down, get them in position kind of thing. So it uh, takes a little bit more. So once I have all those planks done, then we're ready to move the three uh, machines back up into their position. So once I get all those planks done, I'll show you what that looks like. Okay, back at it. It's about 10.45 p.m. and we got it. <laughs> uh, let me show you what it looks like. I have all the rest of the floor down along the roll-up door, all the way down the wall, got it all cleaned up, and I got the three machines moved forward into position. Uh, those son of a guns are heavy, 400 pounds a piece. Not easy to move them, <laughs> but we got them. So now everything's lined up. So now that I have those moved forward again, now I can clean this area of the floor and I can finish laying the floor out this way also. But that's low priority. First, I want to do the rest of the floor along this wall. I hope you really enjoyed this video. If you're ever in need of 3D product design, 3D injection mold design, 3D die cast mold design, or 3D printed prototypes or production parts, please feel free to contact me. You can find contact information in the video description. I look forward to hearing from you and to being of service to you. Thank you for watching. As always, I appreciate it. See you on 3D Accuracy's next video.